Hi friends, thank you for stopping by the condo today. I thought I would give you a look around my kitchen. I've switched out my lemon decor for patriotic decor. I did not do any patriotic decor in my living area. I kept the coastal look because I really, really liked it. And I like the lemons too, but I wanted a little patriotic look going on. So I thought I'd give you a look around and show you what I've done. And if you'll notice, Along with the patriotic decor, I've kind of incorporated a ice cream slash sundae type theme as well. So um, I'm going to take the camera down and we'll have a look about. Look who's peeking in. He wants to come in. Bless his little heart. It's such a pretty day. He's out on the patio for a few minutes. I'm going to start right here in front of the kitchen sink just because I want to show you my beautiful hydrangeas. I go out every morning and pick up, pick some fresh ones. These have been in here for a couple days, so they're holding up very well. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how pretty they look. And I think they look, they just scream summer. So let me come over to this corner over here and show you what little bit of patriotic I have right here. Just this little sign on my scales, just to brighten up this corner. And I thought I would take you, um, up above, show you above my cabinets because a couple people have asked me where do I have my thermoses displayed. So hold on, we'll take a ride up so there. Here are the thermoses. I kind of keep them, let me step back in the center there um, with my baskets in my yellowware. And I think it brightens up that display up there. Before I had them, it was just kind of dull with the, all the browns and tans of the basket in the yellowware bowls. So I just think it gives it a pop of color. And that blue thermos with the red kind of looks a little patriotic. Or that's my story and I'm sticking to it. So anyway, um, that's really all I have on this side of the kitchen. I have some towels there in front of my stove. And this buffalo check rug in front of my sink. But over on this side of the kitchen is where the patriotic stuff really is and where I have my ice cream and Sunday bar set up. So let's just take a closer look over there. On the shelf where I keep my yellowware stored, there it is, I just have this little Fourth of uh, Happy Fourth sign with some stars and old Uncle Sam on his bike. I've had that stuff for a couple years. Um, I either get my stuff at the Dollar Spot or Michael's, Target, Walmart. So those are the three places. And then I have this uh, Liberty sign. That's the Walmart version of the one at Michael's for a whole lot cheaper. And then I have this rag banner. I did not make this one. I bought this one from Michaels, but I, ha I did make one last year for Patriotic, but the blue was not as deep as this blue, so that's why I chose to use this. But this is where I have my ice cream sundae bar. And the inspiration for this was this sign that I bought last year at TJ Maxx and this sign good malts, 25 cents. So I thought, hmm, I have these um, Sunday glasses that belonged, I think to my mother-in-law, I'm not sure, they've been around a while. And I pulled them out and I just stuffed them with the um, paper that you use in gift bags. I know it has a name, but I can't think of it. And topped it with a um, styrofoam ball and stuck a straw in it. And then I have these ice cream bowls that I um, found when I was in Florida and toted them back, got them home in one piece. And this um, ice cream scoop. I had an old antique one with a wooden handle and I couldn't find it. So when I was at the estate sale last week, I found this one. And the Sunday bar, I just um, elevated on a pedestal so you could see it from a distance. And then this ice cream soda sign that I got at Michael's just the other day for 50% off. So up on the next tier, I'm gonna have to stand up on this chair, so go, try not to make you sick. Um, I have this 4th of July platter right done. 
just changed my arrangement in my little picture, added some stars. And there's old Uncle Sam standing guard up there and I just put a patriotic uh, ribbon on that wreath. And this uh, mason jar has lights in it. Can't really tell, but you can see it at night. So this is where the majority of my patriotic decor is. I don't have any in the living room because I have my coastal um, decor, which I'm going to do a tour of that probably next week. I do have uh, patriotic on my front porch and we'll look at that another time. But on my kitchen table, I have my little Ray Dunn summer plates. They're just the melamine. That one says fun. This one says summer. I believe the other one bottom one says party and red I believe yes yep that's all I have there a few pillows on the chairs um this is the two-tier tray and I did put it on the lazy Susan so that I could spin it around for you um I just bought some of those um quarter flats flat squares I guess is what they're called flat squares at Walmart and folded them and put them right there to give it some color whoops and I'm knocking it all down added these little stars from the Dollar Tree and then up here is a 4th of July bowl that I had last year with the date 2018 and I put some strawberries in there and then there's a little star so let me spin it around for you just put some little things I don't have a whole lot of 4th of July decor this little star here came from Walmart and I did I was lucky enough to find this brave mug at TJ Maxx last week and I love it because it's got the blue writing and the inside of it is a real pretty red and then I just tied one of those uh, flat squares on the stand like that so that's really all I have for you and the patriotic decor. Bentley says this is the end of the tour because he is ready to come in. So, he'll see you next time. Say bye, Bentley. Bentley. Woohoo. Hey, buddy. Okay. Bye. See you next time.